Yo, welcome back. Zykor here. And today in No Man's Sky, we're continuing on with the Beachhead Expedition and Phase 5 and finishing it off to get the next the reward at the end. Okay. Now, uh, wrong button. There we go. So, Phase 5. I just need to get to the fifth rendezvous and then figure out what these are afterwards because of course they're encrypted so yeah i think i have to go back to the system that i originally started out this uh at so yeah i'm probably gonna have to go to the space station here and teleport so yeah i guess Actually, let's... Nuts. I should look at the galaxy map. Can I Can I look at the galaxy map from in here? Uh, no, I can't. Of course not. Why would it let me look at the galaxy map? Or why would it... Yeah. <laughs> uh, it should... It, since you're inside your freighter, it should allow you to just look at the galaxy map from the menu. Let's see. Where is it telling me to go? Okay, so... Yeah, it's telling me to go way back that way, which I believe is on the way back to the system I started in from Rendezvous 4, I think. So yeah, I'm going to have to head back to that system. I did note down what system it was, so yeah, I'll have to get there. But I got to go to the space station here first to actually get to a teleporter. <laughs> okay, finally back here. Uh, I believe this is the system I got to the fifth rendezvous point. I think this is it. So let's see here. Uh, actually, reach the final rendezvous point. Uh, I don't see a rendezvous point right here, right in the vicinity, so let's click on it. There we go. Now, maybe I need to go out of my ship. I mean, go out in my ship. We'll see. So, head out. Now, I need to find the rendezvous point. Is there a rendezvous point? There's supposed to be. Apparently people have found portals. But I wish it would tell me where the rendezvous point is. I don't see one though. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I gotta reach the final one. Oh, let's look at the log quick and just see what it says. It says the path in the rendezvous is marked by the galaxy map. A significant journey. Okay. Let's see. Hit the. Go in the map. Okay, this is the system. So I think. Let me guess. I'm gonna have to warp back into this system with the quest enabled. It would not surprise me. So I probably should just warp to a different system quick in the vicinity and then warp back. Much as I hate to say it. So I guess, yeah, I'll be doing that <laughs> and then I'll be back here. Okay, let's see if it finally does it here. Come on. Is it going to show it? I hope it does. Reach the final rendezvous point. Is it not going to show it to me? I really feel like it's not going to. Well, I guess... Yeah, I'm going to head into the space station quick. I guess.
And I'll have to see what I can find on this. I might have to look up the location. It should be showing it to me. Uh, like, you know, like it did with the previous ones. So I'm not really sure why it's not. I am maybe... I don't know, maybe because I came to the system before? <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, well... Yeah, it's not showing it to me, so I'm gonna have to... I guess... Look up information, maybe? I'm not really sure. Okay, for some reason, it's not actually directing me to the location. Um, as far as I saw, I saw coordinates. Um, let's see which planet it's on. I don't want to accidentally go back into the space station here. It's on, like, Puhene. It says one Rendezvous 5 right there as a portal. Uh, that is Eopec. Wait, why does that say Rendezvous 5? But that's Eopec. So where is uh, Puhene or Puhen? This is Katashif. And this one is Actu Alpha. Let's see here. Wait. Is there one coming up here? Okay, let's see what this one is. That's Eopec. Oh, I see there's a planet behind this one. It's probably the moon. Okay, so let's go to this Rendezvous 5 portal and see what happens. So I'm going to head over there and check it out. Okay, now for some odd reason... It's on there. That's weird. So get over here, since it decided to put me at a strange place. And come down here, and we'll see exactly where it's going to direct me. Okay. Yeah, I'll just land right here. There we go. Okay. I'm here now. Okay. It's still odd. It's not telling me to, you know, what to do. So I'll just use my target sweep mode since that's what I've had de had to use. Okay, let's see. Where am I going? There we go. I'm going that way. And it's too weak for a distance estimate. Yay. <laughs> uh, so I guess I'm going to travel over there. Let's see how far it is. Let's, I mean, I'll just see if it gets any better. Is that my exocraft? Too weak for a distance estimate. Yet this exocraft is six minutes away on foot. So, ouch. Okay, well, yeah, I guess I'll have to get over there and, oh, there we go, 1,300 units. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit, but I'll get over there. Okay, finally here, a lot of comm stations. This is it, Traveler, good luck. Yeah, yeah okay, there we go. Too many... Too many comm stations. Come on, guys. Stop. Please. Okay. Let's see. Now I got this historiographical dosimeter and 1,000 nanites. Okay, do I have enough space for that? Let's see. Yeah, I got enough space. So let's get that. There we go. Historiographical dosimeter. I wonder what that is exactly. Let's see. 
okay. So, Nada has detected a new pattern emerging in the stories of the Gek, Corvax, and Viki. The oscillator measures exposure to historical graphical, the historiographical flux around key artifact sites. Recordings of unusual historical shifts will enable Nada to trace the signal. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to go to artifact sites. So, what's the next thing I need to do then? Oh, yeah, I probably should need to check on here. Okay, collect flux readings for Nada. Transmit historio historiographical readings to Nada. Let's see. Collect data at alien artifact sites. So I gotta go up and get charts from the cartographer. Yay, cartographer. The friendly cartographer. <laughs> uh, so I guess I'm gonna summon my ship here. Okay, I'm at my first artifact site. Might as well get this, because who doesn't want a knowledge stone? Okay, so... Let's see. Are there any other knowledge stones? Good, there's one more. There we go. And... I guess... I'll just talk to this... Here, then. This plaque. Let's see. I convulse as I reach out and touch the beautiful stone marker. My mind filling with a deadly knowledge of the true history of the Gek. We are the masters of galaxies, the overlords of the cosmos. Each foe will submit with bended knee to the almighty Gek dominion. We are the first spawn. Look upon our works and despair. Uh, take up a dosimeter reading for Nada. I guess, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Major historiographical flux detected. Historiographical barrier failure detected. Decoding flux frequency. Translated readout follows. A lost weapon. A found weapon. Always there when needed, awaiting its call, awaiting its duty. Finalize reading. Okay, there we go. And I can't talk to this again. That oh, gave me some quicksilver. That's not bad. Okay. And that is... Was that the first one? Let's see. Let's click on it to get it to show me. Okay, so that was the first one. I've got two more. So I guess I'm going to go back to the cartographer and I'll just find... Yeah, I'll find another one. This is going to take a bit. Okay, here at the next one. Get these words. And not go in the building. Talk to this. Let's see what this one has to say. As I touch the obelisk, image of the planet's ancient past fled my mind. The terrible beginnings of the Gek have been aborted by this strange stone, absorbed by this strange stone, and their tale seems desperate to escape. All who hear our words know of our might. Those who oppose us are broken to our will. Behold the power of the Gek, first spawn. These Gek, they seem like they've got, uh, like, they're really full of themselves. <laughs> Galaxies lie at our feet. We are eternal. Yeah, these, these Gek, there's something wrong with them. Okay, I'll take the dosimeter reading. It's historiographical barrier failure detected. Decoding flux frequency. Translated readout follows. A perfect, unique fusion. Two minds, two cultures, two uses. Two fates. Finalized reading. Two fates. Fates is highlighted. Hmm, interesting. Okay, on to the next and last one. Okay, here at the last one. Let's see what this one does. Memories imbued into the rock long ago by the ancient Gek channel into my brain. I recoil, but I am compelled to somehow understand. Through time and space, the first spawn endures, eternally, ever watchful, unyielding over its dominion. Each foe will be crushed. Only the Gek will remain. Man, these Gek, they really like to, they really want to take over, don't they? Take Dosmi reading for Nada. Major historiographical flux uh, detected. Uh, historiographical barrier failure detected. Decoding flux frequency. Translated readout follows. 
A weapon for peace, forged in the fires of war. A weapon, but more than that, an icon of... Finalized reading. And a little bit more Quicksilver. Okay. There we go. Historiographic, uh, historiography lesson. Historiography. Okay, there we go. Two milestones completed. Let's just see what this one is now. Get over here. Okay, so I will get 600 nanites and some living slime. Why living slime? It's like, I don't need living slime. Acquire the myth beacon. Okay, uh, I think the myth beacon is the thing I need to buy from the Quicksilver shop. So I'm going to have to probably do a Quicksilver mission to do that. Uh, let's get the reward quick on this one because I guess I want the nanites. There we go. I don't know why I need the living slime, but uh, oh well. Okay. Now, Pro uh, Polo has crafted a myth beacon from collected historiographical data. Return to the space anomaly to acquire a myth beacon. Okay, well, let's just go to the anomaly. Uh, just because I'm going to have to do a Quicksilver mission anyway, so I'll just see here. Let's just see what it says. I can just summon the anomaly right here. As long as I'm not in a big asteroid field, because, yeah, it looks weird to summon the anomaly in a big asteroid field. There we go. So, get inside. And we'll see exactly what I need to do. Uh, let's just talk to Polo quick. And see. So, Polo should be in his usual place. Oh, it says acquire a myth beacon from the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. Okay. Yeah. Let's just talk to him and see how much it is. I think it's 80. As far as what I've seen. But, I mean, they gave me 45 Quicksilver or so. So... Actually, let's, I'm going to check this. Collect Expedition Rewards. What is in here? So this is more so just stuff from the first expedition in here that I didn't get. And I got this and the fireworks pack. So, okay, let's create exotic items for Quicksilver. Myth Beacon, 80 Quicksilver, and I have 45. So they make me do one Quicksilver mission. That's not fair. <laughs> Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to do a Quicksilver mission. Let's see what it has here. Hazardous Flora. You know what? I'm going to do that since it's Hazardous Flora and it's giving me a Warp Hyper Core. Okay. I guess I'm just going to start out on this and I'll bring you back maybe when I'm about to buy the, the Myth Beacon. Okay, finally got the Quicksilver. Gonna buy it from the companion here. Create exotic items from Quicksilver. There we go. Myth Beacon. I'll buy one of them. There we go. Okay, now I got the Myth Beacon. I think I only got like two milestones left here. Or something like that. Maybe three. L let's let's check. Three out of five. Yep, I got two left. Okay, let's see. Uh, expedition. Okay, so I gotta collect the reward for this. Residual goop and more nanites. I don't know why I need the goop. I mean, why are they giving me goop as a reward? Uh, who wants goop? <laughs> yeah, I can probably just refine it to nanites, but I don't know. I don't really need it right now. Okay, let's see. What's the next one? Deploy the myth beacon. Okay. So I have to deploy the myth beacon. Let's see, where does it want me to do that? So I gotta consult the galaxy map to locate the echo source. Now I think, I think uh, this basically, let's see here. I think this basically brings me back to 
Mavenerve, I assume, or close to that. So I'm just going to teleport back there. Because when Trizen completed his, he said that it went back to this location. So I'll just head back there myself and see where exactly if it is in the area. So I'll see. I'll see where it directs me from there. Okay, I'm here in the system that I think is closest. Uh, Trizen actually said uh, Makamo. That's what it was. He said that that was closest for him, that he found. So I'm going to head out here and look at the galaxy map. This is basically, um, this is where Rendezvous 1 was. So yeah, it brought you here. Let's check the galaxy map. Okay, so Makamo's here. Uh, Pujarmu is there. So that Pujarmu would have been close too. Same thing with Aegean Ozu. Or, or Oz, Ozu? Ozu? Whatever it is. And then, so I need to go down here. And then down to Dapuri. So I guess I can... I mean, looks like my ship can warp directly to Dapuri. So I guess I'm just going to warp there. Okay. Here in the Dapuri system. Let's see. Polo has located a suitable site for the deployment of the Myth Beacon. Reach the Echo Source and deploy the Myth Beacon. So where is the Echo Source? Uh, looks like... There we go. Okay, so get over here. 12 seconds to get there. Looks like it's probably on this planet. Or no, it's on the moon. Okay, I see. No! I don't want a hostile scan. Okay, let's get over here. And land. At least I was able to get into the system, uh, into the planet here before. Eh, I might as well use a free land. Free landing. There we go. Thanks, dude, whoever created this. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Now, uh, where is it here? Or is it behind me? It spun around, so it spun my ship around and kind of made me lose it. Where, where'd it go here? Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, that, that does it. So, a thousand units away, I guess I'll head over there, because I guess it's wanting me to find it, I guess. Yeah. Welcome, traveler. Yes. Thank you. Let's see. Yeah, I got 790 units to go, so yeah, I'm going to be over there. It'll take a little bit. Okay, looks like I'm here. Okay, so probably this thing. Wow, a lot of comm stations here. I expect here. This is probably it. I assume. Yep, yeah, uh, that's that's going haywire. Okay, let's see. Iteration number. I'm not reading that number. <laughs> a terminal blinks, awaiting input. Download data. Scenario. Subroutine. Sentinel. 20491. Dispatch to intervene in lifeform designates. Uh, war. Hmm. Removal from history. Continuation of creator protocols. Sentinels. 20491. Eradicate species. 148. Do not return. Diagnostic. Error. Error. Data loss. Error. Analysis. Continues to express original program directives. Growing its ability to model conflict scenarios. Redundant behavior. Data loss troubling. Potential loss of control. Self-awareness. Deploy the myth beacon. Locate the beacon in your inventory and deploy it with E. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. Myth beacon. Deploy the beacon. There we go. Where's the beacon? There we go. Right. Oh, there it is. Haha. -ha. Echo through the ages complete. New reward available. Okay, so now what do I have to do here? I can collect reward, runaway mold, yay. Seize the sword of history. So I probably have to chase it, I assume. But let's get this while I'm at it. 600 nanites. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't get away from me. But I'm gonna pro I probably should just summon my ship. There we go. I don't know if I'm gonna have to, if I'm gonna be able to catch it or not, but has summoned a mysterious ship. Uh, it didn't let me read that long enough. I made my ship the wrong direction. Let's turn around. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Incoming message, unknown frequency. Okay, communicator. Historiograph. Uh, Historiographical flux spike detected. The call was made. The call was answered. The weapon is yours for Paragon or Renegade intent. Historiographical flux spike subsiding. And just a bunch of dot dot dots. SSV Normandy SR16. Communications link established. Connect to ship six. Okay. So it's an S rank frigate. Yeah. It looks like it's an explorer type frigate. Uh, eight tons of fuel. Looks like it's got pretty good stats, probably. Of course, I'm going to add it to my fleet. There we go. Historical Paragon. Track the Renegade Echo. So this milestone's complete. Expedition number two, phase five. Also complete. Beachhead Expedition decal. Okay, I've, I've completed the expedition. Haha. -ha. Yes. Title of Renegade. Uh huh. Captain Zykor. New title unlocked. Hey, that's cool. Okay, so, uh, let's summon my freighter. Historical Paragon complete. New reward available. Collect your rewards from the expedition page. Okay, let's summon my freighter. And let's see... The frigate... In space. Find the next Atlas interface. That's probably... No, that's the Atlas path. Okay. Uh, let's get... I, w I don't want to be in an asteroid field. And why is it always asteroid fields? Let's get over here. Okay, hopefully... It's not that much of an asteroid field. Okay, where is my frigate? Are my frigates here with me? I mean, I'm just curious. I want to see it in space. Where is it here? There's my one frigate. Is it below my ship? Let's get over here a bit. Gain some distance to take a look. Oh, there it is. Kind of hard to find. Okay, can I land on it? I know some of these you can land on. Let's see. Oh, I need to get above it. Maybe I'm not above it. 
I don't know if I can land on it or not. But we'll see. I don't see any landing spots though, so I might not be able to. But how do you repair it then? Unless the landing spots are in a different area. No, maybe not. But it's very interesting and cool. It's a cool frigate, that's for sure. Okay, so um, let's land on my freighter and get the rest of this stuff and finish off this quest. The expedition, actually. Now, since I've completed this, now that frigate is available for me I think in every every save game that I that I start so it's basically permanent okay so 600 nanites and viscous fluids I hope I have enough space there we go okay Now I just have the last piece to do, and let's get this. So, uh, wait. Well, I might as well get this. Okay, get it right here. Aha! Beachhead Expedition Banner, customization, the Normandy. Okay. Blueprint recorded the catalog, the decal. Okay, that's cool. Okay, yeah, that that's nice. So I've basically I completed the entire expedition, and that will basically. Why does it say new reward? I I. That's weird. Yeah, all this is complete. I think I acquired everything. Final phase, new reward, but... Oh, okay. I was supposed to hit that, too. Renegade Zykor. Another title. That's cool. Paragon Zykor. Okay, so a few titles. Let's check it out quickly. Right here. And I know this is probably a long episode, but it's the final episode of this. Oh, fleet. Oh, yeah, I need a fleet command room. Yeah, okay. I need to check my frigates over here. There we go. Manage my fleet. So, I've got two. I've got this, the Normandy, which is a stealth reconnaissance frigate. Even though it looks like an explorer. I'm pretty sure it is. Got some good stats. Not bad. And this one... Which is also an exploration, but yeah, it's it's got a negative stat. <laughs> so r interesting though. This says roll is recon, and the other one says exploration. So they seem like they might be a little bit different. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. Now there's one one more thing I was wanting to do. Uh, let's see. Why is the myth beacon still in my inventory? Well, let's throw out my starship. That too. Uh, that can go in there. And why is this there too? It's like they're leaving me with all this stuff. And I wanted to take these, and I'd like to use them to celebrate um, finishing this expedition. I wonder if I have to put these at a base. That's possible. Let's see, can I... I can deploy them, yes! Okay, let's see. I want to see what they look like. Atlas Fireworks. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, that's nice. Let's just place all of them. Ha 
<laughs> yeah, that's that's funny. Fireworks to celebrate the end of the expedition. Yes. But uh yeah, I guess that's it for this episode. And the expedition. If you like this episode and the expedition, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps us out a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Leave a comment and, of course, share it. Especially if you love the fire fireworks. <laughs> and the frigate. That, that's a nice frigate. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Probably in my main series.